Outside of Druid Hills High School in Northeast Atlanta, where students took part in a very peaceful protest early this morning. Now, we heard of similar, a similar message of unity as, uh, as uh, students walked out of Decatur High School earlier today. 11 Alive's Naima Abdullahi joins us from there. Naima, how many kids are we talking about? Ron, we're talking about hundreds of kids, and they tell me just a few days ago is when they actually started planning this event with help of administrators who fully supported it. And they also had the help of community members who kicked off the event at the downtown square as the church bell started ringing. Parents and community members joining the nationwide cause. Carol will run 14. To make sure what happened in Parkland. Luke Hoyer. 15 year old freshman doesn't happen anywhere else. We are committed. We're not going to stop. This is just the beginning. Then shortly after walking a few blocks to the high school where several hundred students gathered and reflected. Kids should never have to be scared to go to school. Nor should parents have to be scared to let their children go to school. I thought it was really interesting to see 17 minutes of people in complete silence and most of the teenagers were not on their phones or like chatting with someone else. Something like what happened in Parkland can happen here. Parkland was a really safe community, and I think there are a lot of parallels between Parkland and Decatur. And after the moment of silence, still left in deep thought. All that was running through my mind was what if something like that happened in Decatur? And the whole event was on campus. Students did not leave campus after the 17 minutes. They went back inside. We reached out to the school system to find out what their opinion was about the event. We have not heard back from them, but community members tell me they're proud of the students for standing up for what they believe in. Reporting in Decatur, Naima Abdullahi, 11 Alive News.